Hello, my name is Paul Haney. Uh, I'm from a rural part of Middle Tennessee. <clears throat> I identify as a uh, conservative Christian um, that leans towards the libertarian end of the spectrum. Um, in uh, 2015, in a crowded Republican field that was running um, to move forward from uh, the Obama administration, I uh, was dissatisfied with a lot of the candidates that I felt were saying a lot of the same talking points. And along came this very out of the box, um, you know, uh, shake things up, Donald Trump, and all of the things that he was saying that just didn't sound like any politician I'd ever heard before. Uh, joking about cheating on his taxes and that he would be able to take that mindset into Washington to, you know, clear the swamp and, and break up the, the bureaucracy and red tape. It sounded amazing. Uh, I was excited. And I thought, surely uh, this man will grow into the job and that he will be surrounded by uh, conservative influences that have been in the Republican Party um, for years that will shape and guide, but yet he will still be able to shake things up. It'll be a, this beautiful um, counterbalance of, uh, of um, uh, forces working together that are not perfectly aligned. Um, never in my wildest dreams would I believe that he would go uh, to the uh, links of depravity um, and uh, lawlessness that he has. Uh, this man is a um, complete and total threat to the democracy that our founding fathers set in place. Um, he is stretching our constitutional norms to the point that I'm not sure that we have the uh, wherewithal to handle um, how far he is willing to take things and how far he is willing to push uh, his uh, misguided interpretation of executive power. Um, I voted for George W. Bush both times. Um, I was a young man uh, when I watched his first acceptance speech at the Republican National Convention, and he spoke of compassionate conservatism. Uh, he spoke uh, lovingly and, and respectfully of Martin Luther King. He had pictures of JFK because these were both men, while uh, not totally aligned with my position, they were closer to uh, the norms of uh, you know that that line between Democrat and Republican, and I just fell in love with George Bush's candidacy. I thought I'd be a Republican all of my life, but uh, the 45th president Donald J. Trump has broken my um, faith in the Republican Party. He has broken uh, my. Um, willingness to continue forward voting for Republican and believing that we had a set of core principles. Um, he has broken our party and he's breaking our country. Um, I in no way, shape or form can support his candidacy, nor will I ever vote for him. Um, every day he breaks my heart as an American in a new uh, way. And um, it's to the point that he is actually scaring me uh, that uh, our country will be able to continue and that the rule of law will hold. I um, am very thankful for the conservative voices out there that have the uh, uh, conviction of their um, of their morals and their political compass that they are willing to step forward at great risk to their um, to their to themselves. Uh, politically and professionally to speak out against this man and to organize efforts like these uh, to try to um, make sure that Donald J. Trump is not reelected as president of the United States. Thank you.